Good morning. Um, this morning we're going to make one of my favorite and one of the most simple uh, vegan breakfasts that really on the face of the planet. It's a smoothie, okay? And um, this particular smoothie is of my own invention. It is absolutely delicious. It, um, and it is very versatile. And by that, I mean, you can, this smoothie can be used so many different ways. It is absolutely phenomenal. You can freeze it into popsicles and have like actual popsicles. It actually tastes like creamsicles when they're when they're frozen and you eat them like that they taste just like a creamsicle we don't need to eat garbage to 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 have the things we love and to feel like it just feels so good and feels so right to be doing this right okay um another way you can use this smoothie is um you can make it into a smoothie bowl because the way i make it is quite thick um, you can add a little bit more almond milk to it and make it, make a thinner version of it and actually drink it like a smoothie. Um, I've also used it in the past as a dressing for a fruit salad. So you can do that in the morning if you need a few more calories for breakfast. Say if you're going to be, um, like doing some heavy exercise that day or something and you need more calories. You can actually take the smoothie itself, make a fruit salad, chop up some fruit into a bowl, and then dress your salad with this smoothie. Um, it's very simple. It is a couple of oranges, a couple of bananas. It is one tablespoon of hemp hearts and like a quarter cup of almond milk. And you just throw that all in your blender and you blend it into beautifulness. Let's do it. Okay, so here's my blender. Ta -da. Okay, I'm dreadfully unprepared for this, so I have to go over here and get my fruit. I'll be right back. It would seem that my family has eaten most of my bananas, so I only have one banana at the moment. And right now, I have these uh, giant mandarin oranges, which are so yummy. And they are extremely delicious. They're so good. So, because I have a blend tech, I don't need to cut my fruit up really small because it turns everything into liquid <laughs> like very easily okay so that's one orange so today's mixture is going to be four oranges and one banana usually um how i do this recipe is um with usually i have navel oranges because they're around all the time over here in Canada. And um, so usually I will do two navel oranges and two bananas. And also with the navel oranges, what I like to do is peel them with a vegetable peeler instead of like manually like this, because then I get to keep the pith. You see this, this white part around the edges? Navel oranges are full of that. They have they have a very thick skin, and that pith, that outside piece, is really really good for you. And um, I really like the effect that it has in the smoothie. It makes it extra thick, and um, it gives it a really creamy 
consistency right from the oranges. So instead of like depending on um, like fats and nuts and seeds and things to to add creaminess to your to your stuff, you can actually get it right out of the fruit, which is amazing. Okay, so there's four oranges, and I have one slightly spotted banana. I would normally use two bananas for this, but my family is moving on. I have to go get some more. milk is just for blending it's not um, I mean it does add a flavor and it adds a, a creamy effect and this one because we only have one I think I'm going to put a half a tablespoon of hemp hearts in this guy because it really doesn't need that much. Okay, and then we blend. what it looks like okay and we're gonna pour some into a glass because today these oranges were very juicy and so it's a little bit and also I only had one banana so it's a little bit thinner than it usually ends up so today for my breakfast I'm going to have this as a smoothie cheers Mm. It's so good. You guys have to try this. You've got to try this. 